secondo me tirano a indovinare eh, sulla mano c'è eh. ready go ah, let's go beautiful now it's totally different <laughs> very nice <laughs> I love the uh, jazz musicians yeah. Yeah. Oh, look yeah yeah no? Because it's exactly oh, almost, natural. almost the same as the afternoon. Yeah, yes. exactly. <laughs> you are changing because you sweat it, but you have to be I bad. have one pair of shoes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I love it. Let's go. You know, a lot I do think that the audience often thinks that uh, it's a battle and uh, they go uh, away after the concert, trying to decide who won the battle. And what they don't understand is that uh, usually two piano players who decide uh, to play together, they, uh, they are simply trying to understand each other and making music together. So in this case with Chick, it's simply uh, two musicians playing. It's not a battle, uh, it would have no sense because he's one of uh, my heroes. I started listening to Chick when I was uh, 11 years old. And um, what happens, especially in Chic, is that we are um, developing uh, phrases coming from the other musician. Uh, so I'm, I'm taking inspiration from him, he's taking inspiration from me, and that's, that's always going on for the whole concert. And that, that is very rare between musicians, not only piano players. I mean, we are always, we are always listening uh, to each other. Of, of course, uh, it's not an easy, um, an easy concert usually because two pianos can play too many notes. Sometimes it can be uh, a concert with no empty spaces uh, for the for the feelings and for the fantasy of the, of the, the people in the audience. But in, in this case, I do think that everything is so creative because there's nothing written. Everything is improvised, so people is really very careful to whatever we do. Uh, three nights ago, for the first time, I only I was only a singer and I had a piano player accompanying me and that piano player was chic actually, so I started with a nice one. 